racism has been here for a very long time and people think it has gotten better but has never gotten better it's actually it stayed the same for a long time it's just it's happened in different ways just for teachers and other school staff to be um, not only cognizant of what's going on in the world um, for our, our students of color, um, but just to be able to acknowledge that there, there is trauma. You know, in this work, we, we, have, to, we have to embrace multiple truths um, and knowing that, sh that yes, the harms of racism and trauma are very real on our students but it's also important that we don't see our students solely as their trauma because that can further compound that impact. Don't be afraid to talk about racism in schools because I know a lot of schools, they don't like to talk about it and like to try to avoid it. And um, avoiding it's not the right thing to do. I think what our students see is they don't see themselves. When they go into the school, they do not see native uh, front office staff. They never see native educators, native, native teachers in the classroom. This is a long journey that you're undertaking. So don't plan on solving the whole issue in one year. In order to support kind of the diversity and equity work, it really needs to be rooted in a culturally responsive framework. I think that's one thing that educators and stakeholders can do is to really think about how can we center student voices? How can we um, look at that with that lens instead of saying, how can we get kids to sit still in class so they can do their work and get good grades and all that stuff? SEL should support learning and academics and should help students achieve whatever their definition of success is. We need to be forgiving and patient with everyone about it. Um, and I mean, it takes time for people to learn things. 